right, for my November 2007 issue of Nuts and Volts. I was reading this about controlling uh, lights. Uh, AC light dimming. And it's talking about here a zero cross. It's where the alternation of the frequency is neither positive or negative. And they're using an H11AA1 optocoupler to give a peak on this pin here when you reach zero cross. And it shows two 15K resistors. I didn't have 15K, so I used 10K. And then a plus 5 volt going through a 10K. And then uh, going to ground. Now what I've done, I've got I've got that set up here. I can't get too macro. There's my mains going through the resistors. And there's my other resistor. Plus 5 volts here. Ground is here. It's also going to be ground to my uh, oscilloscope probe. And then my oscilloscope is going to the other side of the resistor. So now we can take a look. This is what uh, 120 pulses a second looks like. That's not 60 cycle, that's 120. Well, what we can do using this method when we hit the zero cross, we hit a, a, a spike in the voltage, which we'll be able to detect hopefully with our 14M. I'm going to run it at 8 megahertz and then control the solid state relay, which I have right here 110 volt AC solid state relay, 3 volt DC input. This relay can be fed directly off of this 14M. So what I want to do is when I detect a spike at crossover, I want to uh, cut the relay on for a specific duration and then cut it back on. And I'm not sure how many milliseconds yet. I haven't figured that math out. And then it'll cut it off. And then I'll go back and look for another zero cross signal from the optocoupler. And then cut it on again for the down cycle of the AC. And that should give us approximately 50% duty cycle should give us approximately 50% illumination from an incandescent light. No, this is not for fluorescent. So if this works out, maybe start doing some research for uh, a smaller, more affordable uh, solid state relays. And this would be a real easy way to interface uh, either dimming lights uh, by remote or uh, Christmas tree lights or any number of things. So that's it for the uh, ghetto shot, the Roger Tango ghetto shot for today. I hope it works. If it does, we'll post some more video on YouTube.